Hello guys, this is Mr. Surplus not here bringing the second part of this um, series of videos that I'm going to be doing on my three handguns um, based on the uh, concealed carry guns and the first part of the videos we were covering the um, doing a safety check and also um, talking just basically describing each gun you know what they are my thunder uh, Versa Thunder 380 Deluxe and um, yeah this is the Deluxe here and the difference is from the Deluxe and the regular 380 is the finish on the top of the slide from the uh, frame which is a little bit different of uh, tone of bluing and also the capacity it holds one more round um, and the only thing I did to this was just get uh, aftermarket grips for it and um, this is the Thunder 380 Deluxe, my PT92 AFS 9mm, and my Glock 21 SF. Um, basically, this gun, it's out of the three, the most concealable one. It's a very good self defense handgun if you want to conceal it anywhere. As you can see, um, if I stretch the palm of my hand, it basically fits inside of it okay you can grab it like this and you can actually cover it pretty much with your hands and just like if you were to stick your whole, your whole pocket your whole hand inside your pocket I mean it's like you can keep this thing in your front pocket if you have like dressy pants or with pleats or you know baggy pants you can keep this stuff this gun in your front pocket and it'll be unnoticeable um, there then again it's only a 380 um, but it's a very accurate gun I think out of the 380s out there, I will say this is one of the most accurate. Believe it or not, it's a carbon copy of the Walter PPK. And as you guys know, check it out. All the reviews on YouTube, especially the Versa um, Argentinian 380, Thunder 380. It's one of the best 380s out there. Very dependable with this weapon. I haven't had no jams. Any brand of ammo that I put through it, it ejects it. It never gets jammed on me. Um, the barrel it's fixed to the frame of the gun so it makes it extremely accurate it's not like regular guns that as you're shooting it your barrel it's completely uh, moving basically inside your slide and your uh, retention mechanism or whatever these guns they have the um, the barrel it's completely part of the frame so that's one of the reasons why they're so accurate um, so being that they're so accurate um, any situation that you're going to have within 10 15 feet a well placed shot which it'll be very easy um, should handle the situation you know a couple of shots so it's a very dependable gun um, haven't had no problems with it and um, uh, for being a 380 if you want to ha uh, have something on you that's not that heavy I haven't really weighed all three guns to tell you how many ounces they each weigh, but it's it's a gun that fit, fits um, really good in your hand. This one doesn't have the magazine that it's got like the little uh, end of the clip here with like a little curb that it supports the, fit, the, the pinky, but even though it doesn't have that, you can rest your pinky underneath and it still f uh, feels very good to your hand. Okay, see how I have to keep my finger on it? like that but it fits really good it shoots very nice really controllable um, a very uh, I would say first choice to go ahead and if you want to stay within you know anything below um, 9 millimeter I wouldn't go lower than 380 and for uh, the price of this weapon I think it was like 250 bucks it's worth it okay very very high quality um, I'm not so familiar with the Versa's uh, not thunder nine or their 40s or their 45s i'm not but i know when i wanted to get off something really concealable like real small i started shopping around checking out reviews and this was like the way to go right here and let me tell you i haven't regretted it it's a great weapon for concealment actually this i use this as my backup weapon when i carry my um my regular conceal firearm with me which is my Glock SF21 45 caliber obviously um, this will be uh, this is my uh, concealed weapon sometimes I have like an ankle 
uh, holster and I keep this on my ankle and this is my sight on right here the uh, Glock 21 SF um, yeah a little bit heavier it's got a 13 round uh, magazine okay I know it's full okay there's nothing in the chamber if you want to be a, a safety check guy and leave me a stupid comment just check out my first part of the video um, okay this is the reason why this is like this is just my sidearm my concealed weapon and everywhere I go I carry it and even when I'm around the house I have a really comfortable uh, holster from Uncle Mike's it's like a pancake style and I wear that around the house um, on my, you know with my Bermudas and my belt to me I'm used to it carrying it carrying um, uh, pretty much um, um, these type of weapons okay I don't consider this a full-size gun um, it's in between a full size, a mi you know, medium size frame gun, and a full size. So to me, I'm kind of used to it. I've always liked big, um, big frame guns. All right, and it, it, it's it's really nice. It's the Glock. This is the one that has the Picatinny rail underneath. Some people were complaining when they first came out with it. Oh my God! Make sure if you're gonna go buy it. You know, you're gonna be stuck without being able to get a holster for it. Dude, that's over and done with. They got many holsters. Check out the videos that I have on the review just on this one weapon. And I show the holster from ITAC, okay? Made in Israel, high quality holster. If you like the Black Hawk style, um, lockable, um, you know, your, your index finger release type of um, holster. Um, they're a little bit on the bulky side, not very, doesn't make this weapon, being that it's already a medium sized frame gun, very concealable. But um, if you like that type of style of holsters, like the, you know, um, polymer, whatever, plastic, um, Black Hawk type holster, which it locks the, the um, trigger guard, uh, it's a very, very good holster. Check out my videos on that. Um, but usually I carry this stuff on a Uncle Mike's. Uh, pancake holster is nylon not that expensive extremely comfortable I will not trade it for anything because it keeps it really tight to my side um, you can barely see it on me and I, I actually use that holster for both for this one and for my um, PT-92 which, which I have carried it sometime just for you know not to just for you know not leave I don't want to leave the gun always sitting in the safe so there's times that I throw these on me and I go you know I know out of the three this is the heaviest of all three of them, and uh, but um, I mean, it, this gun feels awesome. I mean, when you when you get this gun, especially when you shoot it at the range, this thing is like a Mercedes Vans. Um, it feels great. I mean, just the weight of it. Um, it's obviously again more heavier than the. Uh, oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, it's much heavier than the Glock for sure. Um, but it feels just great on your hand the way the trigger this part like this in here And it just feels awesome the way it fits in your hand and when you shoot it the way the recoil I mean, it's just it's a nine millimeter, but it's awesome 17 rounds on the clip That's a lot of firepower guys for a nine um, 17 rounds that's plenty figure 17 and one in the chamber 18 rounds dude If you don't take care of it with that, I don't know what you need. You're gonna need a freaking arsenal um, on your side um, but yeah these are the three that I that I own a again I carry them depending where I'm going what I'm gonna be doing you know where I think I'm gonna what situation I might be exposed to then I go ahead and take you know take it with me if I'm gonna be like at a restaurant and, and you know it's, it's just having dinner and I pr you know pretty much um, know that there's not really gonna be much of a scenario maybe developing I, and I want to be comfortable I go ahead and carry my 380 okay take my 380 with me and um, and I'm sure it should do it I mean and I even have only one magazine to this I haven't bothered on a, or, or purchased another mag for it I only have the 1A round mag and um, and uh, yeah 380 A rounds I mean at a restaurant you know uh, should be able to handle anything in there and but like I'm saying 
even when I go to work, um, in my work truck, I keep this with me. This is my side pal, okay? The Glock 21 SF, 13 round in the magazine. Outrageous weapon. This thing is the AK-47 of um, of handguns. Forget about the Springfield X, whatever XDX or XDP, whatever the Ruger, whatever. Dude, forget about it, man. I mean, I I know some guys are fanatical, maybe to their um, um, other type of weapons, but you know what? A Glock, man. It's a Glock. You cannot go wrong, wrong with this weapon. This is another gun also that fits great. It's got the grooves in front of the um, grip here. And the, they've made the, the SF means a slim, slim frame. Um, some people call it a shorter frame, whatever SF. But whatever it may be, um, I think it's slim frame. Um, they reduce the width of the uh, grips here I, I tried when I went to purchase this I got the regular Glock 21 in 45 caliber and but it was just too big over here like from the front to back it's not the thickness was what they change it's from the back strap to the front uh, finger grooves uh, grip and the regular one is just I guess it's longer in the front or wider however you want to call it and it, it was just hard it will make my trigger finger, finger barely reach there. So when they gave me this one to try it out and I grabbed it, it was a dream. So I said, you know what, I gotta have this bad boy. And I think I purchased it for, it was 495, 500 bucks in my local gun shop. And I love the Picatinny rail. I know some guys have, oh, you know, the thing with the holster. And you know you know what, it, 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 this, Picatinny rail that it comes down a little bit lower. It, it makes the, the front a little thicker. One thing I didn't like about the Glock, if this gun would have never came out with this Picatinny trail, would have never bought it. Because one thing I don't like about the Glock is like from the trigger guard forward, they start slimming down, and it looks kind of weird. So I don't know if you guys want to check that out. See how thick, see how even this looks with the extended Picatinny rail. It does come like two sixteenths of an inch on the bottom lower. So it makes it look even, like from the back of your frame, it's like the same thickness. Like your regular 9 millimeters or the older ones that didn't have that come with a regular rail, if you look at them from here, right from the part of the trigger guard, they start going slim towards the front and it looks like a freaking thinner, I don't know what. So I didn't like that. So when I saw this one, it was like, oh man, it looks like a different Glock. It looks like the frame is all, you know. So I went ahead and got it, shot it a bunch of times, man, no problems, easy to take apart, clean it, no problem. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, do a third part to this just to show you guys um, how to um, carry this on you, how it's not going to show in your clothing, and just stick around. All right, guys?